Hi, I'm not a huge fan of Ranveer Alabadia, primarily because he uses his platform to spread a lot of misinformation, encourage a lot of superstition, and platform a lot of conspiracy theorists. This is why I was surprised to find an actually good video on his platform. And even though he does not really intend it that way, I think this video is an excellent explanation for why religion exists and why people believe in God. Watch. We were going from Jaipur to Ranthambore. I went to the first seat and sat right behind where the bus driver sits. And while I'm at the peak of my sleep, I hear like screams behind me. And these girls behind me are going, oh, and I wake up with that. And I see a bus coming straight at us, right in front of me. The only thing that separates that bus from me is the bus driver. And just when the buses were about to touch, our bus driver kind of turned the bus. So this other bus hit our bus behind. Our bus kind of lost control. The guy tried controlling it a bit and rammed into a tree. Everyone was slightly injured. Nothing happened to me. Hmm. Everyone was slightly injured, but nothing happened to me. The fact that a tragedy happens and it affects a lot of people, but you somehow survive is not always because there is something special about you. We see this all over the place. A pandemic happens and a lot of people get affected by the disease, but one person does not get the disease and he thinks there is something special about him. A cyclone happens. Every house is demolished. One house keeps standing. People think there is something special about that house. Not always. Sometimes things just happen for no reason. Sometimes things happen for reasons that have nothing to do with the specific qualities of the thing that survived. So whenever you hear from people that the reason they survived or that they got something better because there is some kind of divine benevolence shining upon them or that God favored them, they're not actually praising God, they're praising themselves. It's ego of a very basic kind. You all suffered because, you know, you're you. But I am special. I am special because the creator of the damn universe favors me more than it, he favors you. The creator of everything, the runner of the universe, the preserver of the universe loves me more than you. It's not actually a statement about God. It's a statement about the person who's saying the thing itself. It's ego, plain and simple. Everyone was slightly injured. Nothing happened to me. The driver got very badly injured. There was blood all over the front seat. At that moment, I became aware of God and I'm unscratched. I got out of the bus. I realized, oh wait, my friends are inside. Went and picked up one of my friends, got him out of the bus. And my atheism died there. <laughs> and that's the closest I felt to God. The reason that was the moment you felt closest to God was not because God was actually present there. It's because you imagined God in that moment of trauma, which I sincerely wish you had not had to go through. It's a sad thing to happen to anyone and you were a child. I wish it did not happen to you. But since it did happen and you did use it as some kind of a justification for your belief in God, that is what I am also focusing on. So don't take this personally. Human beings are often quite helpless in front of circumstances. If I'm out and it suddenly starts to rain and I'm wearing a suit, I will feel unfortunate. But then a friend of mine turns up with an umbrella and I feel grateful. In that case, I know where my gratitude should go. It should go towards my friend because my friend has suddenly appeared with an umbrella to help me and make my life easier and to prevent my further suffering. But in many circumstances, we experience good things, but there is no one to give gratitude to. In your case, it was a bus accident. You experienced gratitude. You experienced, uh, you know, this bad thing happened and nothing happened to me. It could have been much worse, but it didn't happen to me and I'm fine and I'm okay. Even though a lot of other people who God presumably did not care about got hurt. So in that circumstance, your brain is filled with gratitude, but there is no one to give gratitude to. So your brain creates an imaginary person towards whom you can give gratitude because you can't just hold on to the gratitude. It has to go somewhere. A lot of times, the reason people imagine gods or create gods in order to explain the special circumstances of what happened to them is because they are filled with a certain powerful emotion and the emotion does not have anywhere to go. And since they can't hold on to it, they create beings towards whom they can focus that emotion. You experienced gratitude and you sent it towards an imaginary entity called God. And in doing so, you also kind of implied that you are so special that this imaginary powerful being capable of saving lives only saved you from damage. 
By the way, if you are looking for an explanation for why nothing happened to Ranveer and why a lot of other people suffered, on the basis of his own story, I can make a few guesses. A direct collision was avoided when the driver turned to one side. So the part that suffered the collision was the latter half of the bus that Ranveer was in. Most people were sitting behind, so they got damaged. Ranveer was not sitting behind, so he got less damaged. And the reason the driver suffered a lot is because the bus eventually hit a tree and he was sitting in the front. It's not rocket science. And there is no supernatural power involved here. It's plain old physics. Anyway, that was it for this video about uh, Ranveer Alabadia, whose name I keep confusing with. Like his name is Ranveer Alabadia and his username is Beer Biceps. I keep thinking that his name is Beer. Like first name Beer, second name Biceps. Excuse me, Mr. Biceps, please call me Beer. That explains a lot. And that is it for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and more such videos will be coming in the future. So hit the bell icon also so you get notified whenever I publish new stuff. Bye.